Hello and welcome to CMC Markets on Tuesday the 25th of August and the weekly market update. And we've seen some serious declines in equity markets over the past few days. Um, a thousand point fall in the Dow um, on the Monday open which was somewhat reversed and now does appear to be showing some signs of a significant turnaround. But these sorts of declines do present problems for investors. And I'm going to look at some charts today. I'm going to look at gold price because the gold price has been one of the key beneficiaries of the volatility in global markets. I'm also going to be looking at the UK 100, the German DAX and the S&P 500 for maybe some evidence of a potential base building formation and a potential rebound. But as with anything with respect to these charts, you do need to be aware of what we call in the trade a dead cat bounce. So in using a combination of daily and weekly charts, we can probably tell with a degree of certainty if there is such a thing in these sorts of markets as to whether or not there is a base in or whether or not um, we could well see a significant rally over the next few days. So we'll start with a daily gold chart and as you can see from the chart in front of you we've seen a nice little rebound over the past few few weeks from the lows that we saw in the middle of July but what we haven't been able to do thus far is break above the trend line resistance from the highs early this year in January um, and just below the 200 day moving average and that area is around about the $1170 an ounce mark. Now we do see we do now appear to be starting to show signs of pulling back and it's also interesting to note that the daily oscillator is also starting to show some signs of turning over. So that would appear to suggest that the recent bout of risk aversion that we've seen over the course of the past few days um, could actually be starting to come to an end. And certainly after 10 days of declines in the FTSE, we are certainly well overdue a rebound. So assuming that we are going to get a significant rebound in the FTSE 100, the UK 100, we should continue to see gold prices come off from the peaks that we saw earlier this week, come back down from the 1170 area and head back towards 1130, the 1120 area. Let's move on to the daily FTSE chart. And we can see here that we've got the makings of a potential bullish engulfing day on the daily chart, having hit a low of 57 86 yesterday, around 57.70 yesterday. So the fact that we've seen a significant rally on the back of a triple R cut, the fifth triple R cut from the People's Bank of China in nine months, then the prospect is we could well see further gains. But we need to close the gap between the Friday close and the Monday open. Now that gap gets filled around about 61.87, 6200. If we manage to gain a foothold above that 6200 level, then I think there's a distinct possibility we could actually rally back to around about 6300, 6400. Uh, certainly if you look at the oscillator, um, the, it is significantly overbought at the moment, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we're on the cusp of a significant rally. On the face of it, the the easing by the People's Bank of China earlier today is a positive thing for equity markets. But given the fact that four easings haven't solved the problems of the Chinese economy, it's hard to imagine another 25 basis point rate cut will do the same. What it may do is buy time for equity markets after the declines of recent days. I'm going to move on to the German DAX now, and it's a similar sort of story, similar daily chart similar rebound from the lows. We saw a massive decline on Monday, but we've got a very long lower shadow on Monday's candle. We've now got a very fairly positive bullish daily candle on today's candle. But what we really need to do is consolidate a move back above 10,100 and move back in to the price action that we saw on for, or at the end of last week on Friday. When looking at these charts, I think it's important to not only look at the daily picture, but also look at the weekly picture. So we've got to look at the two daily charts, the UK 100 and the German DAX. 
Now let's look at the weekly charts, and that should give us a completely different story. But it's important to what monitor these weekly charts because by the time you watch this, it will probably be Wednesday. We'll still have two days to go. How this chart looks, this weekly candle looks on Friday close, could well determine whether or not we've hit a base. So on this particular section, I'm going to look at the weekly charts for the UK 100, the US S&P 500, and the German DAX. Now those of you who know an awful lot about technical analysis will know about the pattern that we call a hammer. Now a hammer usually marks a significant turning point in a declining market. So the big question that we have to ask ourselves this week is wherever the price action closes at the end of this week could well determine where we go next in subsequent weeks. So let's start with the UK 100. And at the moment we can see we've got a very long lower shadow on this particular candle and we have a fairly decent positive body with price action currently at the top of the weekly price range. Now if we continue through the rest of the week in this vein then it's quite likely we could well have seen a short term base in the FTSE 100. UK 100 and we could well head back to around about 6,400. It's a similar sort of story if we look at the Germany 30, the DAX, again long lower shadow. We need to see a very long lower shadow and we need to see the market close near the highs of the week to suggest a base is in place and it's a similar sort of thing on the US XPX 500. So keep an eye on the weekly closes and all these three benchmark indices because those weekly closes could well determine where we end up over the course of the next month or so, particularly given the fact that the likelihood is this recent market volatility could well prompt the Fed to delay a potential rate rise in September. Okay, so that's it for this week, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, thanks very much for your time and your patience. This is Michael Houston talking to you from CMC Markets.